Virtual reality refers to the set of technologies that are used to create a simulation that fools the user into thinking that they're brought somewhere else. Back in the 60s, they had very large, cumbersome systems in labs that uh, gave people a first taste that this might actually be feasible one day. In the mid-90s, we saw products like the Nintendo Virtual Boy that let you play very primitive games on a red-on-black display. There was a real um, breakthrough in the past couple years when a lot of the very high-quality displays and sensors that were coming out of the phone market started to be repurposed for doing high-quality VR at affordable prices. Unlike virtual reality that transports the user to another artificial location, augmented reality keeps the user where they are and then brings in simulated objects or scenery to augment what they're seeing in the real world around them. Of course, Pokemon Go is an example of simple augmented reality done through a phone screen. There are three things that we're uh, doing around the lab here. First is working with partners on the state-of-the-art products to really drive them further. We're also working on partner products that are integrating next-gen technologies. That might be things like wireless head-mounted displays or displays incorporating things like RealSense technology. We're also doing proofs of concept around ideas that we have of how we might improve the experience in the future but that haven't yet been proven out. People sometimes ask, will we ever get to where we'll be able to get rid of the goggles? I think that uh, we're a long way off from doing that. What we will see is we'll see the goggles get lighter and thinner, and in some cases get no more obtrusive than a regular pair of eyeglasses. There are a few ways in which VR is going to evolve. For one thing, the displays are going to get higher quality, the simulations are going to get more real, the products are also going to get less expensive, which is going to let it hit a mainstream market and allow a wider variety of applications and usages.